dive into Tony Dunn's life, a hidden gem of Manchester United, who made his mark with solid defence and a calm spirit. Follow his journey from simple starts to European football fame. But there's more to his story. Off the field, he faced a tough battle with dementia, casting a shadow over his later years. Learn about Tony Dunn, the dependable defender who faced big challenges after his celebrated sports career. Tony Dunn was born on July 24, 1939, in Dublin, Ireland. In the lively streets of Dublin, football was a popular activity, and Tony quickly developed a love for the game. His family, although not rich, saw his potential and supported his dream of playing football. Tony often played football with friends in local parks, where he stood out for his skill. He started his football journey with local youth teams, impressing everyone with his abilities. His talent was clear from a young age, and he was known for his dedication to improving his game. In these early days, Tony's skill on the ball and his determination to succeed laid the foundation for his future in professional football. Tony Dunn's initial steps in football began at the local level in Dublin, playing for the junior club Stella Maris, a well-known team in the area for nurturing young talents. His time at Stella Maris was crucial, as it provided him with a platform to develop his skills and showcase his potential in competitive matches. His standout performances in defence, characterised by strong tackling, good positioning and an ability to read the game, made him a key player for the team. Despite his clear talent, Dunn faced the challenges many young players encounter, like the need to prove himself at higher levels and the uncertainty of securing a professional contract. However, his dedication and performances didn't go unnoticed for long. Dunn's big opportunity came when Shelbourne, one of the senior clubs in the League of Ireland, signed him. Playing at Shelbourne allowed Dunn to compete at a higher level and against more seasoned players, which further sharpened his abilities and prepared him for the demands of professional football. His consistent and impressive displays for Shelbourne were what eventually led to Manchester United scouting and signing him in 1960. This move marked the beginning of Dunn's professional career at an international level, transitioning from the local Irish leagues to the English First Division and setting the stage for his successful tenure at Manchester United. Under the mentorship of the legendary manager Matt Busby, Dunn started his journey in English football. Busby, known for his ability to nurture young talents and build teams with a blend of youth and experience, played a significant role in Dunn's development as a player. Initially, Dunn had to adapt to the higher pace and physicality of English football compared to what he was used to in Ireland. His early days at Manchester United involved learning from seasoned professionals and gradually integrating into the first team. Dunn's natural defensive abilities, combined with his determination to improve and adapt, helped him make a strong impression. Over time, Dunn evolved from a promising young talent into a mainstay in Manchester United's defence. His consistent performances, reliability and tactical intelligence on the field earned him a regular spot in the starting lineup. Dunn's ability to read the game, coupled with his speed and tackling skills, made him an integral part of the team's defensive setup. As he gained experience and confidence, Dunn's contributions to the team became increasingly significant. His role in Manchester United's defence was pivotal in helping the club achieve success both domestically and in European competitions, cementing his status as a key player in one of the most successful periods in the club's history. Tony Dunn's rise at Manchester United showcased his defensive skill, making him pivotal in the team's success, particularly during the 1968 European Cup. His consistent ability to neutralise top European strikers was crucial in United's journey to the final. His performances were not just about defence. Dunn also had a talent for initiating attacks, highlighting his versatility and strategic insight. During key matches, especially in high-stakes games, Dunn's composure and tactical knowledge were invaluable. He played a significant role in Manchester United's league campaigns, contributing to their defensive strength and helping to secure vital wins. This reliability and performance under pressure endeared him to fans and made him a trusted figure in the squad. The pinnacle of Dunn's career came in the 1968 European Cup, where his defensive mastery was on full display. Throughout the tournament, he was instrumental in United's progress, facing and outplaying some of the best forwards in Europe. His exemplary performance in the final against Benfica, held at Wembley Stadium, was a testament to his ability to perform on the biggest stage. Tasked with containing Benfica's star players like Eusebio, Dunn excelled, combining disciplined defence with strategic play to help secure a 4-1 victory and the European Cup for Manchester United.
Dunn's influence in the final wasn't just defensive, he also supported the team's offensive efforts, showing his comprehensive skills as a footballer. His crucial role in one of Manchester United's most iconic triumphs established him not only as a key player for the club, but also as a celebrated figure in football history. This historic victory, with Dunn's significant contributions, cemented his legacy as an integral member of a legendary team and marked a high point in his football career. Tony Dunn, throughout his illustrious career with Manchester United, made an impressive 535 appearances for the club. This significant number of games places him among the players with the highest appearances for United, underscoring his importance and consistent performance for the team over the years. In addition to playing a key role in Manchester United's 1968 European Cup victory, Dunn was crucial in the team's success in domestic competitions, helping to secure the FA Charity Shield in 1965 and 1967. His consistent defensive skills and ability to contribute to the team's success were evident throughout his tenure at the club. His individual achievements were also recognised when he was inducted into the Manchester United Hall of Fame, celebrating his contributions to the club's storied history and acknowledging his lasting legacy in the world of football. Dunn's time at Manchester United, marked by significant team achievements and personal accolades, reflects a career filled with success, dedication and a high standard of football excellence. Tony Dunn, like many professional athletes, faced several challenges and adversities throughout his career. Transitioning from the Irish League to the competitive and demanding environment of English football at Manchester United was one of his initial hurdles. Adapting to the faster pace, higher physicality and tactical nuances of the game at this level required significant effort and determination. Dunn also had to compete for his place in a team filled with talented players, proving his worth to secure a regular starting position. His journey wasn't just about showcasing his defensive abilities, but also about demonstrating his resilience and ability to cope with the pressures of playing for one of the world's most prestigious football clubs. Throughout his career, Dunn faced the typical ups and downs of professional sports, including form slumps and the constant challenge of meeting high expectations. Despite these obstacles, he maintained a high level of performance which is a testament to his mental toughness and commitment to his profession. Tony Dunn's life after his active playing career saw him venturing into the realms of coaching and football management, applying the insights he gained as a professional player. He took on roles that enabled him to guide and develop emerging talents, contributing to the football world even off the pitch. Dunn's enduring legacy in football is multifaceted, Beyond his memorable matches and significant trophies with Manchester United, he is remembered for his sportsmanship, leadership and the way he embodied the spirit of the game. After retiring, Dunn remained connected to the football community, often attending events and participating in activities related to Manchester United, showcasing his lasting bond with the club and its supporters. Tony Dunn's life outside of football was characterised by his devotion to his family and his interests beyond the pitch. After retiring from professional football, Dunn settled into a quieter life, focusing on his personal well-being and spending time with his loved ones. Family was a significant part of Dunn's life. He was known to be a dedicated family man, cherishing the time spent with his wife, children and grandchildren. His role as a husband and father was central to his identity, with his family providing him with support and grounding throughout his life, especially during his transition from professional sports to retirement. In retirement, Dunn enjoyed engaging in various activities that reflected his interests and personality. He was passionate about golf, often spending time on the golf course, where he found relaxation and a competitive outlet. His love for the sport was evident in the way he played, bringing the same dedication and focus to golf that he once applied to football. Beyond sports, Dunn was known for his humble and down-to-earth nature. Despite his fame and success on the football field, he remained approachable and genuine, qualities that endeared him to many. His life outside of the limelight was marked by simplicity and a focus on the things that mattered most to him, family, friendship and personal passions. Tony Dunn's later years were marked by his struggle with dementia, a condition that profoundly affected him and his family. This battle with dementia, particularly in his final years, brought significant challenges, not only to Dunn himself, but also to those close to him who cared for him and witnessed his decline. 
Dunn's experience with dementia has broader implications, shedding light on the health risks associated with football, especially concerning head injuries and repeated heading of the ball. His condition contributed to the ongoing discussion and research into the link between contact sports and neurological diseases, including dementia and chronic traumatic encephalopathy, CTE. The impact of Dunn's health battle extends into the realm of advocacy, with increasing calls for more research, better player protection, and comprehensive support systems for retired athletes. His story, along with those of other former footballers facing similar health issues, emphasizes the need for the football community to address these health risks seriously and to advocate for improved understanding and prevention of sports-related neurological conditions. Tony Dunn's legacy in football, characterized by his prowess on the field and his quality as a person, earns him a special place in Manchester United's history and the broader football world. His career at United highlighted his influence and key role in the team's successes, off the field, his battle with dementia has drawn attention to health concerns for retired athletes, contributing to the conversation on sports and well-being. Dunn's life reflects a blend of footballing excellence and personal integrity, leaving an enduring impact on the sport and its community.